Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about flash chromatography. This technique was first introduced by Clark Steele in Columbia University. Uh, this is the advanced version of column chromatography that is why it is also known as medium pressure chromatography. In column chromatography there is no pressure means elevation takes place due to a gravitational force but in uh, flash chromatography we are applying pressure and that pressure is 10 to 15 psi okay and uh, for applying pressure we are using air or nitrogen as in gas So these are the details of flash chromatography. Uh, this uh, method was first introduced by Clark still in uh, Columbia University and uh, this one is the advanced version of column chromatography. Apart from this we are applying medium pressure and that medium pressure is applied uh, by using a pump uh, to the column and uh, we are using air or nitrogen as in gas and the pressure will be 10 to 15 psi. So uh, these are the uh, short details about flash chromatography. Now coming to the solvent system or mobile phase of the flash chromatography. So for mobile phase development or solvent system development same method is applied just like TLC means first we will use TLC for development of mobile phase and after development of mobile phase in TLC we will further uh, use that mobile phase into the flash chromatography for separation and uh, different solvents list of solvents is given in uh, that link so you can watch solvent system from uh, that video now coming to the mobile phase development uh, for flash chromatography for development of mobile phase in flash chromatography we have to uh, select binary mixture means we have to uh, take two solvents one is having a low polarity and one is having high polarity so uh, polarity of that particular compound will be moderate and the separation will be uh, better and RF value for the compounds in TLC should be 0 0.35 or lower than that one for better separation in flash chromatography So for solvent system development in flash chromatography first we will optimize our solvent system in TLC in uh, such a way that our compounds should get separated and RF value should be less than 0.35 for better separation or a better output in flash chromatography. RF value 0.35 means it should have better affinity with our stationary phase. Okay. Now coming to the stationary phase used in flash chromatography. So commonly used stationary phase for flash chromatography is silica gel and the particle size of silica gel should be 37.5 to 60 micrometer and uh, it should pass through the sieve number uh, 250 to 400. As you know in column chromatography this sieve number is uh, 60 to 120 mesh size and particle size is 125 to 250 micrometer. So here in flash chromatography particle size is lower it is uh, 37.5 to 60 micrometer means packing will be tight and uh, due to tight packing flow rate of the solvent should not be uh, proper uh, due to gravitational force that is why we are uh, putting here pressure that pressure is 10 to 15 psi and due to this pressure column flow rate will be better okay now coming to the next part which is column packing
सो प्रोसेस ऑफ कॉलम पैकिंग इज सेम लाइक कॉलम क्रोमेटोग्राफी मीन्स नॉर्मल कॉलम क्रोमेटोग्राफी और ग्रेविटी कॉलम क्रोमेटोग्राफी हियर टू मेथड्स आर अवेलेबल फॉर कॉलम पैकिंग फर्स्ट वन इज वेट मेथड एंड सेकेंड वन इज ड्राई मेथड वॉट हैपन्स इन वेट वेट मेथड फर्स्ट वी विल टेक द कॉलम So this is the flash column. Now we will prepare slurry for packing of this column, and the slurry is uh, prepared in a conical flask. For example, this one is a conical flask. Now we will take silica gel in this conical flask, and after that we will add uh, some mobile phase or any solvent to make the slurry of this silica gel. And after that, slurry will be prepared and. Uh, Uh, by proper mixing we will remove the air bubbles present in the slurry after that we will pour this slurry into the top of the column so here silica will gel will be settled down and at the upper part some solvent will be there here blue color represents silica gel and uh, black color represents solvent okay so by using this method we can uh, do wet packing of our flash column now coming to the next packing method which is dry packing method in dry packing packing method we will directly uh, pour our silica gel into the column and after that we will pour the mobile phase from the top of the column and uh, we will elute out the blank column for proper settlement of our silica gel and removal of the Uh, air bubble so this one is uh, second method that is dry packing method now com coming to the sample application of flash column so coming to the sample application and before knowing about sample application first we have to know about the sample to stationary phase ratio and this ratio should be 1 is to 30 to 1 is to 100 it should be between the 1 is to 30 to 1 is to 100 if we are using 1 is to 30 then simple separation takes place and if we are using 1 is to 100 then Uh, this ratio is used for complex separation now coming to the uh, types of sample application so there are two types of sample application first one is uh, wet application and the se second uh, second one is dry application as i i already discussed both the methods in column chromatography also so in wet application method first we will dissolve the sample in the solvent and we will spread that solvent at the top of the column uh, for sample application now coming to the second one which is dry application in dry application first we will uh, dissolve our sample in any volatile solvent and in that <coughs> solution or that sample we will put the silica gel and silica gel will soak the solvent and uh, as well as sample and after that we will Uh, you operate the solvent so all the sample content will be absorbed on the surface of the silica gel so this is the dry application method means after drying uh, silica gel will be spread over the uh, at the top of the flash column so this is dry application when solubility of our sample is not proper in our mobile phase in that case we are going for dry application method otherwise we will go for wet application method now coming to the elution of the column so uh, during elution we have to uh, apply minimum pressure for continuous flow of the mobile phase and uh, Uh, our solvent will be eluted out along with our sample and we will collect that fraction and we will analyze that fraction by using tlc means locating the sample takes place by using tlc method so next step is locating the sample so 
for locating the sample in flash chromatography tlc method is used i will uh, discuss in detail about locating the sample in uh, next part of this video that is uh, methodology of flash chromatography and uh, after locating cleaning of the column takes place So for cleaning of the solvent, uh, first we have to remove all the solvents present in our column and after that we will remove the silica gel from the column. Okay. So these are the details of flash chromatography and the flash chromatography is based on the principle of adsorption chromatography. Now in next part of this video I will discuss about uh, methodology of flash chromatography. Thank you.